So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the general components that I'm going to use, including the testing gear. And then I'm going to talk about my expectations for this experiment, and then we'll run the experiment. So to start out with, we have two 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries that are in series. And these have been recently charged. I just finished charging them up, but I have done capacity tests on both of them separately, and both of them were not that great. So they were under the capacity. And so together, my guess is that one starts to fade a little bit more than the other one, and that they, they'll probably start out close and they'll probably start fading and uh, one will fail or, you know, go a uh, low voltage shutdown before the other and that'll end the, end the test. All right, so then I have these two gauge wires. I have a really nice brand new two, uh, 4,000 watt 24 volt split phase inverter. On this end, I have a little kilowatt that'll tell me how much energy consumption is going in on this end. And then of course, I have a standard oil filled space heater that I'm going to set to 1500 uh, watts. So theoretically we should get an hour and a half. Again, I think I'll get instead of the 2400, I'll probably get 2000 watts out of this when you consider the how good the batteries are. I'm also going to be testing with my um, infrared sensor there. Anything gets warm, just to confirm that these are getting warm, although I'll probably be able to feel it. I have an internal BMS on the battery so I can see how the internal temperature is going, but I'll also keep an eye on that with the, with the little meter. Uh, I have a clamp meter that I'll use just to verify the accuracy of this one because this is kind of a, a cheap meter, but uh, it'll do a pretty good job of testing or showing me how much energy I'm using before I get to the inverter because the inverter I think it's probably a 10% loss on the inverter all right so there we go so let's fire this thing up start this test and see what we get so I just turned on the inverter you see there's no draw yet because I don't haven't turned on the space heater so we'll go down here again we're going to turn it to three so we'll have 1500 and You can hear the inverter fan come on. This side we have 15 and change, 1550. And this thing is showing 17. All right, so we're we're going. Should go an hour and a half. I say it goes about an hour. We'll keep keep checking back. I'm going to check back and um. So I'm going to check back in about half an hour or 15 minutes or so, see if these wires have started to heat up, and then we'll just keep checking back, and we'll see what we get. So we're about 15 minutes into it, so I thought I'd come in here and do a quick check. I could feel the heat from the radiator as I opened the door, so that's cranking along. Um, I did a check on the BMS, and the batteries are still about equally matched. They're both given about the same amount of energy out. Um, so the uh, internal capacity, the internal resistance is still pretty closely matched. Uh, I can feel that these are getting warm. So I'm going to hit them with this real quick. Um, this is not an accurate because I can feel the heat. Yeah, see it's 85 degrees, so it's starting to warm up. The inverter stays nice and cool though. That's kind of nice. Um, it is cool in this room. The ambient temperature is about 60 degrees in this room. So let's do one final test. Let's just see what the plant meter says. So this says we're doing about 78. My cheap meter says we're doing about 67. So a fair discrepancy. I would trust this one over that. Uh, let's just do one final test just to see how this is doing. And as I suspected, this is 250 degrees, so this is nice and hot. So everything's cranking along so far. We'll check back in a few minutes and see how we're doing. So we're about an hour into the test, and my batteries are getting warm internally in the BMS. The wires are warm. 
can feel it. And then I'll just put the sensor on it, and there, uh, these are um, 90 degrees. Um, the batteries don't feel too hot to the outside, but the internal BMS is definitely showing they're getting warm. They're pulling away. They're um, no longer equally matched, which is pretty much what I figured. Battery one is probably 10 10 percent maybe even 20 percent different at this point so it will do low voltage disconnect first but we're almost i think we're almost at an hour yeah just shy of an hour so i think we'll hit an hour uh, i don't think we'll hit an hour and a half we're at 1500 watt hours 61 amp hours and let's just do one more thing here. It's saying 6869 on the amps. Let's see what the plant meter says. So this is saying 70. That's bouncing around. Well, it's not that far off. Alright, so it's not going to be long now. All right, there we go, people. The inverter just shut off. So what do you think we got? What do you think? Hour? Two hours? Did we hit 2,400 watt hours? Let's find out. First up, we're going to look at the kilowatt. And the kilowatt says we went for 2,000 2, and eh, let's just call it 2,000. That's pretty close. So two kilowatt hours, and we ran for an hour and 16 minutes. Eh, not bad. Now let's see what the other meter says. So final results on my other meter. We got just under 87 amp hours and 2100 watt hours. A little over 2100 watt hours. I gotta tell you, not bad. You know, it ran for over an hour. Uh, considering the high C rate test, considering that these batteries, uh, the capacity tests on the batteries weren't that great, I don't think I top balanced them properly. I'm uh, actually impressed. Yeah, they didn't they didn't come close to the spec, but you know this was a heavy C, a high C test, and they ran for an hour and fifteen minutes with a um, fifteen sixteen hundred watt load on them. So. Not bad. Not bad. I would consider this a success. Let me know what you think. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.